here at the Hub, it's safe to say that we are definitely dog people. While they can be adorable, cuddly, and sweet, it's important to remember that they are still animals. Historically, guard dogs have been very important for protecting everything from people to livestock. We'll show you some dogs who are known for being ready, willing, and able to defend what's precious to them. To learn more about dogs and other animals, be sure you're subscribed to the Hub and click the gray bell to join our notification pack. I mean, squad. Notification squad. Rottweilers. For many dogs, their bark is worse than their bite. But the Rottweiler has the strongest bite out of all dog breeds. During a study conducted by National Geographic, Rottweilers were found to have the highest average bite pressure, with about 328 pounds of pressure. Bite force alone isn't enough to make a good guard dog, and the Rottweiler has plenty of other attributes that make them a dog you shouldn't mess with. They were bred to not only herd sheep, but to protect them as well. This means that Rottweilers are intelligent and have keen guarding instincts. They can be very affectionate with their families and often act like oversized lap dogs. This attachment also inspires them to be fierce when it comes to using their strength to protect their loved ones. They're often used as working dogs to this day, and it's not uncommon to see them working with the police to bring down criminals. In addition to being intelligent, they're also very alert to their surroundings, so they're able to easily identify and assess potential threats to their charges. Rottweilers tend to be obedient, meaning that with a little bit of training, their guarding instincts can be even further focused into providing the ultimate protection. German Shepherds Not only are they excellent guard dogs, but German Shepherds are also incredibly popular. They're the second most registered breed by the American Kennel Club and the fourth most registered breed in the United Kingdom. Their popularity is especially impressive considering the fact they've only been around since 1899. Like the Rottweiler, they're often used as police dogs because of their strength, intelligence, and trainability. They may not have as hard a bite as a Rottweiler, but at 238 per square inch of pressure, that's still a bite we wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of. These dogs can stand up to 26 inches tall and weigh up to 71 pounds, meaning that if one lunges at you, you are absolutely going down. In addition to their strength, they use their smarts and training to keep their owners safe, even on the battlefield. The military uses German Shepherds to scout areas and warn soldiers of any potential hazards. German Shepherds are one of the most widely utilized breeds and work as everything from guide dogs to search and rescue. However, in temperament testing, they scored highly in defensive behavior, making them ideal for jobs where they need to defend. Have you ever wished you could see the most amazing video content all in one place? Look no further than the premium. You'll gain access to thousands of ad-free videos from the richest, Screen Rant, The Taco, The Sportster, The Things, and more. It's free to sign up, so log on today. Best of all, you'll get the first peek at the newest content available before anyone else does. What are you waiting for? Check out the premium and start binge watching now. Doberman Pinscher. Don't let their sleek exterior fool you. The Doberman Pinscher is a dog that is all muscle. They even look like they're always ready to spring into action since they stand on their toes instead of their paw pads. Their long snouts mean they have an impressive reach and they're leveraged perfectly to deliver a devastating bite. This makes sense because they were bred in order to protect a man with a lot of enemies, a tax collector. Carl Friedrich Louis Doberman was a tax collector after the Franco-Prussian War and his daily activities made him a target for thieves. He wanted a dog that would be loyal, agile, fast, and ferocious. It's safe to say that the Doberman Pinscher embodies all of those qualities and more. Although they weren't used exclusively, the United States Marine Corps made them their official dog during World War II, which is proof at just how tough these dogs are. Aggressive tendencies in Doberman Pinschers have been studied, and their highest level of aggression is targeted towards strangers, and they ranked extremely low on aggression towards their owners. However, overall, they're not particularly aggressive and show less aggression than other popular breeds, such as the Cocker Spaniel and Dalmatian. English Mastiff. Although there are many types of Mastiffs, we're going to focus on the one most people picture, the English Mastiff. Just looking at the sheer size of these dogs, you'll probably assume they're one you don't want to mess with. And you'd definitely be right. Average male English Mastiffs are about 76 inches tall, and they weigh up to 250 pounds. These dogs have a long and ferocious history, and it's thought that they're related to dogs that once fought lion, tigers, bears, and even humans back in ancient Roman arenas. Just looking at these massive heads would be enough to dissuade potential wrongdoers. That loose skin on their faces has a functional purpose and ensures that if they sustain any cuts, the blood will drip from their faces and knock it into their eyes, clouding their 
their vision. They're known to be protective of their humans and wary towards strangers, although most have a calm temperament. This makes them perfect protectors, even if they never have to call upon their incredible strength. We're all for working smarter and not harder, so having a dog that can intimidate people with their appearance without lifting a paw sounds like a perfect guard dog to us. Great Pyrenees. Don't be fooled by those adorable fluffy faces. Seriously, we know it's hard because they are just so cute, but the Great Pyrenees is one of the best guard dogs you can ask for, especially if you have property and livestock to defend. Unlike other dogs, they're naturally nocturnal, meaning that you can sleep soundly knowing they're on duty. They were bred to guard livestock, and they take their jobs very seriously and can be aggressive towards anything they perceive as a threat to their flock. Their guardian instincts are incredibly powerful, particularly towards anything small or helpless, which can include its humans. They're not quite as large as Mastiffs, but they do grow to about 32 inches tall and weigh up to 130 pounds. They are known to be quite territorial, so if you have a lot of land to protect, these dogs are an excellent choice for guard dogs. They're known to be stubborn, and training them can be challenging, but thankfully, they already have all the instincts they need to guard brilliantly. Many farms and ranches around the world still use the Great Pyrenees to protect their livestock. Cane Corso Although their faces aren't quite as adorably floppy, the Cane Corso is actually part of the Mastiff family, and they're known as the Italian Mastiff. These dogs are valued highly, especially in their native Italy, as companions, guard dogs, and hunters. Males can be up to 28 inches tall and weigh about 110 pounds. Their heads are huge, and their muzzles are certainly imposing due to their width. In addition to being physically strong, these dogs also have iron wills and require a firm hand when training. Cane Corsos were bred to take down big game, like boars and bears, so they're definitely dogs that a human wouldn't stand a chance against. When they aren't hunting with their masters, they also make excellent guard dogs for protecting homes, livestock, and they would even accompany their owners around as their personal bodyguards. Their eyes are typically dark in color and set back into their head, making them look rather intimidating. Like the English Mastiff, these are dogs you'll know better than to mess with after a single glance. Although they can be ferocious when protecting their charges, they're also known to be intensely loyal towards their families. This mix of brute force and loyalty makes the Cane Corso a perfect guard dog. Akitas They may look like overgrown Shiba Inus, but these dogs are known to be some of the best guard dogs in the world. The Akita is known for its power and independence and tends to feel dominant over outsiders to their families. However, to their loved ones, they're known to be unflinchingly loyal. Early Akitas were used for hunting, particularly wild boar and deer. After flushing out their prey, the Akita would wait for the human to come and finish the job. One famous Akita is Hachiko, the dog who spent nine years waiting at a train station for his owner to return. In their homes, they're known to be territorial about what they perceive as theirs, meaning that any intruder should watch out. These dogs are very strong and powerful, so if you see one sitting out in its yard, you'll definitely want to avoid going up to say hello. Even among other dogs, they tend to dominate, particularly those of the same sex as themselves. They are experts at at climbing and digging, so if you manage to climb over a large fence on your way to break into someone's house, there might just be a fearsome Makita waiting for you on the other side. Giant Schnauzer You might be tempted to laugh at their cute little beards, but don't underestimate what a strong and powerful guard dog the Giant Schnauzer can be. As their name implies, these are large dogs, standing up to 27 inches tall and weighing about 95 pounds. So these are a lot larger than the miniature and standard Schnauzers you're probably more used to seeing. These dogs can be very imposing figures, even before you realize how strong and fast they are. Their coats may be sort of odd looking, but their dense, wiry fur means that they're weather resistant. They're usually pretty laid back, but can become intensely wary of strangers and are naturally protective of their owners. These dogs are very intelligent and have been used as guard dogs in many situations. They've been used to guard factories, breweries, butcher shops, stockyards, and more. They were even used as a military dog in both world wars. Today, it's still used as a police dog in certain places, and it's considered a working dog. They love having tasks to perform and are trained in herding, carting, tracking, and agility. They love to chase, whether that means running after a lure or an intruder. Rhodesian Ridgeback Rhodesian Ridgebacks were bred in what is now known as Zimbabwe to perform dangerous tasks that no human would want to do. This includes fearlessly hunting huge creatures like lions. In fact, they're also known as the African Lion Hound. If these dogs aren't afraid of giant jungle cats, they're certainly not going to be cowed by a human. Early descriptions of the Rhodesian Ridgeback aren't very flattering, and in fact, they even note their ugly appearance. However, they did also note that when it comes to guarding, these dogs can be absolutely ferocious. 
Their most notable feature is a ridge of hair that runs down their back in the opposite direction of their coats, which is where the ridgeback part of their name comes from. These dogs are very strong-willed and protective. They're also known for their stamina and speed that they use when they hunt. The Rhodesian Ridgeback is an intelligent breed, but doesn't need instruction when it comes to protecting its home and family. It has a strong instinct that has been cultivated over many years, and is no small part of what makes the Rhodesian Ridgeback such an incredible guard dog. Staffordshire Bull Terrier Many people are unaware that Pitbull is a name for a type of dog breed and not a breed itself. There is the American Pitbull Terrier, the American Staffordshire Terrier, the American Bully, and the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Not confusing at all. These dogs can look very similar to one another to the untrained eye, and it's no wonder people get them confused. For now, we're going to focus on the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. These dogs were bred to inflict serious damage on other creatures and were used in sports that most people would find pretty horrifying today, such as bull and bear beer. Earlier bully breeds were bred to have a certain quality known as gameness, meaning that they are persistent and spirited enough to continue fighting even if they're injured. These traits coupled with their muscular physique and powerful jaws make them ideal guard dogs. There is a persistent myth that their jaws are capable of clamping down on something and locking, but this simply isn't true. Their jaws function just like any other dogs. However, when their owner doesn't call on them to fight, these dogs are very loyal, loving, and make excellent companions. Many people find them frightening, and the breed is outright banned in some places. Dogs are bred for so many different reasons, and these are just 10 of the many breeds suitable for guarding. While it may be your life's mission to pet as many dogs as possible, and we truly wish you luck on that amazing goal, remember to always be cautious when approaching dogs and ask their owner's permission before you approach. To learn even more about man's best friend, as well as many other creatures, be sure to subscribe to The Hub. Bye for now!